Every time we plug something in or turn on a switch, we're using electricity. It comes into our homes through cables from power stations across the country. But how is it made? Most electricity is produced by turning a wheel called a turbine. The turbine can be turned using water, wind or steam. Each turn moves a machine called a generator, which then makes electricity. Try making your own turbine using our activity sheet to see how this works. Build it, then try blowing on it. Your breath is doing the same job as the steam, water or wind. When it is the steam turning the turbine, this is produced by boiling water. The water is heated using fuels such as gas, coal or biofuel, or by the energy released from nuclear fuel. Nuclear fuel doesn't create carbon dioxide gases like some other fuels do. That makes it a great fuel for creating electricity, because it does less damage to our planet. Nuclear energy can also be used to send things up into space, help people who are ill, and even keep you safe in your home. So it's super useful in all kinds of ways. But how does nuclear fuel produce its energy? It contains millions of tiny atoms. When those atoms are split, heat energy forms. This activity is called fission. The newly split atoms bump into other atoms, causing them to split too. This is called a chain reaction. And the more atoms split, the faster the reaction becomes, creating more heat. Do you have a poppet? It works a bit like a chain reaction. Start with one pop, then pop all those around it. Do that until you reach the edge. Then the popping stops. Try having a poppet chain reaction race against a friend. Nuclear energy is made in a power station where fission happens inside a reactor. The reactor controls the speed of the chain reaction to make just the right amount of heat needed. The heat released by the fuel boils the water, making the steam that turns the turbine, generating electricity, which is sent through cables into our homes, ready for us to use every time we need it. <laughs>